beautiful day, nothing but glorious flying weather. So we'll take out the little multi wee. Do a position hold. So position hold and return to home. So it's very slow to return to home this guy as compared to the mega. And we turn the mag on, so mag on and it'll point the way it needs to go. So it'll come down here, turn around in a minute. Okay, so everything off. Okay. So, so we're heading up nice and slow. I'm not touching anything and we hit altitude hold. Now it'll just hold at that altitude, maybe. Okay, so it's having a bit of an issue today. So we do a position hold. So that's just holding position when it settles. Give it a time to settle, it doesn't just do it instantly. And we'll do an altitude hold. Now that should just stay there in the sky once it settles itself. Okay, so we do now return to home and we'll turn the mag on. Now see how the mag points it back in the direction that it was armed in, so it's coming back to me, green's the front. It should come back around and then it'll point, because it was armed that way, it'll turn that way. And she should turn about now somewhere. Gonna make a liar out of me. There she goes. So that's him facing the way she came. So we'll just pull him up for a tick. Look at that nice, isn't it? So the sticks are a little bit, I find on this that they're a little bit slow to react. So I'll show you what I mean. So it's going going that way so I give it some takes a little while goes there okay it's pretty reactive front and backwards and it's pretty reactive sideways but I give it some stick up and you've really got to give it some okay there's my little container I'll shut him down and I'll show you what I've got there. Okay, so here's my little unit itself. Hopefully we can see that. Now we are disarmed. Okay, now I'll just use one of these little kitchen containers. All right, put the base on upside down. So, um... <coughs> So it's bolted in and the board's bolted on the top of that. You can plug your USB in. Uh, there's my APC unit um, on serial port zero. Um, so yeah, and the little U-Blocks unit. So it's flashing now to say that it's in safe, well, it's got power and it's got, um, it's got everything working and the green light saying it's all good to go, uh, safe. And the yellow light is change of mode. So if I go to, I won't arm it because I'm out of battery, but basically, yeah, that's how she works. Okay, we'll throw another battery in and give her a go. So 
we'll do a bit of a return a launch just make sure it's all working properly from there so return a launch come back so it should come back it's set at six meters a second so there you go all good so off when I said the other day out the box in one of my other videos um, what I meant was there's the PIDs all I've done is adjusted the pitch PID from two uh, from 3.5 to 2.5 because I had some twitching in it and it's doing it again look at that I don't know what goes on with this guy some days it seems to have issues some days it flies like a charm a bit like a woman Anyway, we'll start our mission. Let's see how we go with that. We got to 25 metres. We should go over the corner of the farm. I always have my finger ready to take it out of the mode and give it some juice, um, even though it's flying by itself. Because you will notice that it does tend to sometimes duck down. And, um, and it doesn't fly exactly how you think when you're new. You think it's going to go up and go there and go there and go there and go there and come back and right over the spot within half a millimetre. Well, no, it doesn't do that. Actually, I think I lied to you. I think I set the mission up to go there and then come back and then go down there. I can't remember. So many missions, so many quadcopters. And unlike Gaz, not so many bottles of uh, yellow wine. Anyway, there she is there, coming back. So I don't know where it's going to go now. Hopefully it might head over, sort of go that way. Come on. So I'll turn it off. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know where that GPS unit is playing up with it. So we'll land and we'll turn, take that GPS unit off, it might be interfering with it, who knows. 